and welcome back. It's that time. Today, we are bringing you 32 S-Class Sentinel ships, all of which I found on journeys 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. All can be seen on the channel in their full glory, but this is all the S-Classes from those journeys put into one simple, neat video. So if you are an S-Class hunter and that's all you're interested in, then this is the video for you. Like I say, this is the second S-Class video, the first one that covered all the S-Classes from journeys one through to four can also be seen on the channel. So check that out if you haven't seen that one yet. Now today's video, I bring you many varieties of Sentinel ships, all varieties of color and a few unique ones as well. Hopefully I will cover many of your tastes out there. It's just a case of, are any of these good enough to replace what you've already got in your collection? If you haven't already picked these up, of course, as I say, they have been shown in previous videos, but now it's just time for the S-Class to shine and nothing else. Now, a few things that you need to take note of is all the ships are in the Euclid Galaxy. Multiplayer must be disabled. Every ship will have a beacon placed, a save point, and every ship I show will have its location and coordinates shown at the top of the screen. Let's go. So the first class S in the list today is a blue and black tank bug. Uh, it has the tank feet, has one set of mini wings, it does have that extension on the top of the ship, which could be obtrusive to some in first person view. However, supercharged slots, uh, not a lot to see. Uh, one showing, that is it. You have to go to the space station to unlock the other three, unfortunately. Now in the air, not a lot's gonna change as you would expect as it is a simple bug. The only thing that changes is the wings do dip down. Moving on, next. Okay, so the second S-Class in the list today is another blue and black bug here. Now this one is a simple sleek style. It has multi layers of wings, all are blue, blue engine bay as well, four lights on the front. When we look at the supercharged slots, we can see all four are available, two on the right, one in the middle, and one slightly left to that as well. It's not bad overall. You could do something decent with this one. Next. Okay, the third class S in the list today. Now this one is a red, white, and black dragonfly styles. It has two, maybe even three layers of wings down there. The wings, unfortunately though, on the dragonfly section are only skinny versions. They are not the full width dragon wings. It does have an extended thruster on the bottom, thanks to that undercarriage. Uh, it does have the pincers on the front. Supercharged slots, we can only see three at this point. You'd need to go to the space station to get the fourth one unlocked, but it is there. Next. Okay, the fourth class S today. So this one comes in a yellow and orange color scheme. It is a hauler style. Now it does have the three lights on the front. It has the extended thrusters on the wings. Overall, this is a nice yellow hauler. I do like this one. Now the extensions on the back are very simple, but it does give it a nice look. Uh, the supercharged slots, we can only see three at this current point in time. Visit the space station for the fourth, next. Okay, the fifth class S today is a white and black bat style sentinel ship. Very, very simple this one. Not a lot's gonna change when you take this bad boy in the sky, but we will take a look anyway. Now, supercharged slots, when we look at them, all four are visible, three on the left, one on the right. Not bad, not bad. Now in the sky, like I say, not a lot changes. The only thing you're gonna see is the wings that dip down on this one. Overall though, it's a very sleek looking ship. I do like it. Moving on, next. Okay, now for number six in the class S list here. This is another white and black and also red hauler, similar to the one we just saw. Uh, very simple, no thrusters on the wings on this one, but overall it still looks nice. That white and black tone with that simple bit of red on the back really does finish it. Supercharged slots, if we have a look, we can only see two. Possible for four on the left once you visit the space station, who knows? Okay, moving on now to number seven in the class S list. Now this one comes in white, black and red very very simple ship um not a lot to it in terms of exhaust or anything but you have multiple layers of wings there 
quite a few thrusters going for it. It's not a bad looking ship. Uh, in terms of supercharged slots, you can see all four right from the word go. Three over there on the left and one on the right. Has good potential. And there's no white, by the way. I don't know why I said white. Uh, once you take it into the sky, as you can see, because it's such a simple ship, again, just a dipped wing is all you're going to see. Next. Okay, for class S number eight today. So the color scheme on this one is yellow, red, and black. The style is a dragonfly style. Now it does have extended thrusters on the wings. It has extensions on the bottom. Um, the dragonfly wings, unfortunately, are not full width. That does let it down. Uh, supercharged slots, we can see two on the right, one in the middle, one on the left. Hmm, still a great ship though. Now in the air, um, it does look fantastic. The only thing, like I say, that I feel could be better uh, is the dragonfly wings being thicker, being the full width. That's it. Next. Okay, now moving on to the ninth class S in today's list. This is another black, simple, sleek uh, sentinel ship. It does have the multiple layer of wings, thrusters on the side, supercharged slots if we look at them we can see all four right away, three all clustered towards the middle and one on the right. Quite a nice little combination. Next. Okay so class S number 10 now. Now this one comes in yellow and orange. It has lots going on. It's a very simple sleek sentinel ship this one but it does have the mini wings on the top. It has the extended thrusters, three layers of wings, the mini wings on the bottom, uh, four sets of extended thrusters thanks to those extensions on the top and the bottom. Lots going on. Uh, supercharged slots, let's have a look at those. You can see three at this current stage. Visit the space station to unlock the fourth. Not bad, not bad. Next. Okay, now class S number 11. This is another red and black hauler. So, solid base on the bottom, prongs on the top of the rear section, one single layer of wings on the side. They look great though, as they are pure black. Overall, the ship looks amazing. Supercharged slots, we can see two on the left, one on the right. Possible to have three together clumped on the left once you've unlocked the fourth slot. Next. Okay, class S number 12 in the list. Oh, this is a beautiful one. Still one of my favorites. Uh, this is a black and sort of dark white, sort of gray color, depends on the planet. Full size dragon wings. You've got the tank feet on this. It looks amazing, especially if you like the black ships. Supercharged slots, you can see uh, two towards the middle, one on the right. Once you've taken it up to the space station, you can see two on the right and then two that are close together um, in the middle there. So overall, not bad for the supercharged slots. Uh, once in the air, as you can see, it looks absolutely amazing, just like you'd expect it to look. Tank feet tuck up, wings full width, beautiful. Next. Okay, class S number 13 now. Very simple black Sentinel ship, this one. Um, the extensions on the bottom and the extended boards on the top. Uh, which give the thrusters on the back not a lot to look at here really supercharged slots if we look at them we can see one on the right one just to the left of that and one on the far left next okay class s number 14 in the list this one comes in green white and black very simple sleek ship um, if you like green it may suit your taste I'm not someone that picks up green ships, never have unfortunately, at least not yet. Now supercharged slots, if we have a look at them, we can see all four straight away, three groups up together on the right and one on its Todd in the middle. Next. Okay, class S number 15 now. This one is solid. Red and black, very simple style. Um, I do like the little dual layer of wings for the small ship. Um, this is one I did pick up I wanted a quick surfer. These ones are pretty agile. Um, I wasn't disappointed. With the supercharged slots, we can see two on the right, one in the middle, but then when you take it up to the space station, you've got the third one on the right as well. So it's a nice clump to mount there. I've just used them for pulse to get um, decent maneuverability to surf around the planets for my ship hunting. Lovely bubbly. Now in the air, it does have the tie style look when the sides split apart, wings dip down, really do like this one and it's still in my collection let's move on next all right class s number 16 on the list now this is a very bizarre color scheme it's orange green and black 
Now I've had multiple layers of wings, the little mini wings. It may have been all right, but nah, 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 not for me. Supercharged slots, let's have a look at them. Uh, we've got three groups up on the left and one on the right, so the supercharged slots are nicely placed. Next. Okay, class S number 17 now. Now this is a beautiful black and white simple Sentinel ship. Multiple mini wings on the side. The undercarriage which gives it the extended pinch on the front. Three little lights there. Beautiful. Uh, supercharged slots, you can see two on the left, one on the right. That is until you take it to the space station and then you get three on the left and one on the right. Not a bad little ship. Uh, once in the air, you can't expect it to do too much other than the wings dipping down, but it still looks graceful. Love it. Next. Okay, number 18 on the Class S list here. So, this one is another red and black one, and it's another hauler. Uh, this one does have a little bit of white thrown in the mix too. It does have the exhaust on the back, uh, extended thrusters, uh, it's got prongs on it. Um, overall, it is a nice looking hauler once again, if you like the white in there. Uh, supercharged slots, we can see all four, two towards the middle, one just to the right of that, and then one on the far right. In the air, as you can see, it does look nice when the wings dip down. The hauler section doesn't adjust whatsoever. It stays solid and in place just as it is on the ground. Next. Okay, number 19 on the Class S list now. Another red and black one. Loads of red and black today. Uh, this has lots going on. The four little mini wings top and bottom. You have the extended top, uh, exhaust, extended bottom, which gives the extended thrusters as well. Um, just one simple layer of wings. Overall though, this is not bad. Uh, no supercharged slot information. I think I've lost a file. Oops. Okay, class S number 20. Color scheme on this one is black and yellow. Worth noting the only part that is yellow, being such a small ship, is the engine. Nothing else. Now we had a ship on the list similar to this earlier, except the boards were on the top and the skinny extension was on the bottom. Meh. Now, in terms of supercharged slots, we can see two on the left and one on the right until you take it to a space station for the fourth. Next. Okay, Class S number 21 in the list now. Okay, this one, color scheme comes in orange, white, and black. It is a hauler style. It doesn't have any extended thrusters on the wings. Instead, it has the prongs. Same as on the rear, it has a couple of prongs there. It does have an exhaust on the engine bay. Overall, it's not a bad looking haul of this one. Supercharged slots, we can only see three all grouped up on the left. Visit the space station for the fourth, and that could also be on the left. Next. Number 22 on the Class S list now. This one is white, green, and black. Similar to one we saw earlier, except this one does have two layers of wings, uh, which does make it that little bit extra and the exhaust, of course. Uh, now, do you like green though? That's the question. Supercharged slots, we can only see one until you take it to the space station. So there could be a possibility for four over there. Next. Okay, class S number 23 now. Okay, this one comes in the color scheme of blue and white. Very simple looking Sentinel ship, this one. Um, it does have the extended thrusters on the wings and an exhaust on the back. Um, it has those extensions that do push out to the front, but personally, not my cup of tea, and I don't have any supercharged slot information. Lost it or I forgot. Next. Okay, number 24 on the list now. This one is a lovely off white, off yellow. I'm not quite sure what it is. It was hard to see in this planet lighting, but it has beautiful extensions on the side, the prongs, multiple layers of wings, the wings that come out the back, extended thrusters, supercharged slot information, two on the right, one in the middle, one on the left. It's not a bad looking ship. Next. Okay, number 25 on our list today of the Class S ships. Uh, this one reminds me of the blue one. It just feels kind of incomplete where the uh, extensions don't go all the way back, but it has multiple layers of wings. Um, it does have the exhaust, it has the prongs on the side, but it's not my style. Supercharged slots, we have three that are grouped up together there, and the fourth one's gonna be unlocked once you visit the space station. Next. Okay, number 26 on our Class S list here. Now, we have another red and black hauler here again it's a nice beefy hauler multiple layers of wings prongs on the uh, wings itself prongs on the rear section 
It does look like a nice ship, this one. The three lights in the front there as well. Supercharged slot information. We can only see three until you unlock the fourth for the space station. And that's two in the middle and then one on the left. In the air, not a lot changes other than the wings dip down. Um, but like I say, this does look great, this one. I do like it. Next. Right, Class S number 27 now. So this one comes in an orange, white and black styling. Um, it does have the fangs on the front which is quite rare. So even though it's orange, it does make this ship look very nice. Uh, you got the little mini wings on the top of them boards there, extender thrusters on the side. Uh, in terms of supercharged slots, you've got two on the right, one in the middle, one on the left. Next. Class S number 28 now. Color scheme on this bad boy is pure white. Now, as you can see on this one, you have the three little lights at the front, which I know quite a few people do like. You have dual layer of wings on the side, no extended thrusters on this one. You just have some prongs on the side of the wings. You do have the extensions that go forward, uh, exhaust on the back as well. Supercharged slots, three grouped up on the left, one on the right. So they're pretty decent. Next. Class S number 29 now. This one comes in orange, black and white. Very simple style. Three little lights in the front again. Dual layer of wings on the side. One white, one black. The extension on the top as well. Very simple bat style ship this one. Uh, do you like the orange though? That's the question. Very rare that I'll pick up an orange. In terms of supercharged slots, we've got two on the right uh, and then two that are scattered near each other over on the left there. Could be better, but not too bad. Um, now, in terms of what it looks like in the air, the only thing you're likely to see change here is the wings that dip down. That is it. Moving on. Next. Okay, class S number 30 now. This one comes in black and dark blue. It is another hauler style. Um, it does have multiple layers of wings. It has the extensions on the wings as well. Now, the hauler top and bottom side of this does split up once it's in the air. Uh, it does angle out, but we'll see that in a moment. Supercharged slots, you have two on the left, but they're not grouped, and you have one on the right. Fourth will be available when you take it to the space station. Now, like I say, the top section and the bottom section of the hall apart does split at an angle, and it does look really nice once airborne. Next. Okay, number 31 on our Class S list now. This one is another orange and black, simple uh, bat style sentinel ship, dual layer of wings. The bottom layer is that thick, chunky wing with the extended second wing that comes out towards the back. Supercharged slots, we can see one on the left, one on the right, and one towards the middle. They could be better, so they're not that great right now. Now, in terms of what it looks like in the air, nothing changes other than the wings dip down. Very simple, very sleek. Moving on, next. And here we go, number 32 on this Class S list. Now, if you made it to this ship, leave a UFO in the comments, just so I can see how many of you made it this far, because you've reached the best ship that I found on journeys five, six, seven, eight, and nine. This is an absolutely stunning black and red Dragonfly style ship with the tank feet on the bottom glorious supercharged slots we have two on the left grouped and then just to the right of that another two grouped absolutely lovely bubbly now in terms of what it looks like in the air fantastic what do you expect the small wings dip down slightly the feet tuck up the four wings come out in all their glory now it does match my capital ship as well um, it also matches my character color scheme which is black and red this is beautiful do you agree hmm let me know in the comments now once again i want to thank everyone that's taken the time to watch all of my journeys watch this one please if you like this stuff like subscribe and i'll keep them going and i'll see you as always in the next one